How's it going, guys? It's going. All right. I mean, you just kind of just ran up here, man. How much energy do you have right now? Oh, I didn't get to finish the fight, so I got all the energy left <laughs> still. So what did you think about that performance? I felt it was as good as it can get, honestly. Um, came out the fight unscathed. I defended um, nearly every strike, and I got the first round knockout. So I, I couldn't be, I couldn't do it better myself, you know. And I did do it. So. <laughs> and that setup that you had for that knockout, it was, a, you know, phenomenal. But is that something that you worked on in camp? Did you think that was going to be there? Um, it's not something I work on in camp. It's something that I work on in general. Um, I don't necessarily work on anything for camp or for a particular pro opponent. I just work, and I just know what works. You know, we all have two arms and two legs, and I'm just going to try and put them in your face, and you're going to try and put them in mine. So I got to be faster. I got to be more accurate. I got to be more trickier. And, yeah, we, I like attacking from the same side a lot. And then with this, uh, obviously, a first-round knockout, how soon do you want to get back into the octagon? As soon as I can. I don't like sitting out. You know, I was supposed to fight in October, and after my fight, I believe it was in July, and I just sat out too long. It's too, too, too much space between fights for me. I need to be in there. I want to be more active. Um, to me, it's not about getting anywhere. I just, I just love doing it. So if you keep me away from the things I love, I'm going to get frustrated. So just put me back in as soon as I can. All right, that's all I got for you, man. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hi. Where would you rank that performance amongst all your wins? Uh... Every fight, I feel like I, I, it's my better performance. So this one's going to be number one for me. You know, um, I came in there ready. I came in there confident. I came in there feeling like I was in control of the fight. I wasn't. I mean, of course, I'm nervous and I'm scared of getting hit in the face. I mean, you're fighting another professional fighter, but for the most part, um, I was ready. It was just I don't know what other word I can give you, but I was ready. How about how would you rank your KO amongst the one right before you and the one right after? Did you get to see him? No, I saw the one before mine's. Um, I hope kicks KOs are, are looking a lot nicer than punch KOs. So um, uh, hope, I, I don't like to say one's better than the other. You know, um, Dover um, did really great. You know, he took a lot of shots um, and then came back with that comeback punch. So I was impressed. Uh, if I had to rank them, um, hopefully it's a bonus KO. Hopefully nobody else does better. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was good. So if you get that bonus, what do you think you'll spend it on? Expanding my gym, um, making it better for my training partners and my students, and I don't know, just living life, uh, nothing too crazy. I'm not trying to spend it on anything, but I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not a care about money too much. How would you, um, if looking back at 2022, what's your highlight? I don't remember. This one? It, it right doesn't here. have to be fighting. It could be just life. Making it. Making it through 2022 just in general. It was a tough year. How do you see 2023 going? Um, hopefully tougher, and I can persevere over that as well. Any goals in 2023? Nope. Or do you have goals and you just don't want to say? No, I just don't have any goals. I just like the journey. Thank you.